All right, I'm going to crack your toes now, oh, okay? Oh, God. Talk to me. What happened? I don't like it. Why? What person did this to you? you oh, like my ex-boyfriend. I don't. Okay, we need to work out the tension so you can process this ex-boyfriend stuff and then you can get let it go and move past okay. it. Mm. Oh, I've never had that done before. Start with some easy stuff. Do you have back pain or neck pain? Usually, yes, neck and lower back. Which one's worse? I would say probably my neck. Okay. How often does your neck hurt? Maybe a few times a week. Sometimes when I sleep or if I'm working out, sometimes it'll bother me. Okay, so sleeping and working out. You feel it in the morning when you wake up. You feel it at the gym or after the gym? Um, more after the gym or like the day after if I like work out of back, like my back or okay. incorporate my neck somehow. I don't know how I do that, but... Okay. <laughs> When your neck does hurt, how long does it hurt for? Um, just maybe a few hours after, like, after I get waking up and moving around, it's okay. Does it crack? Do you I crack do, your neck? I do, yes. Okay. Do you crack your back, too? Not all. No, not really. I don't like to. Okay. All right, very good. But your neck cracks frequently. Yeah, honestly, probably daily. But you don't like to do it? Um, sometimes I just do it to get that relief. Okay. How long back can you remember this neck pain? Mm. For how long has it been there? Uh, probably a few years now, definitely ever since just, uh, working, starting my jaw, like constantly with my neck down and I've noticed that's when it starts hurting. Okay. All right. So you're, it, so you're talking about when you're in surgery. Yeah. All right. So you're there right over it. Happens. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You, do you have headaches? Um, I actually get migraines, but I take medication for those, and they, they actually haven't been as bad for the last few years, but sometimes I do get them. Okay. What, do you take a medication daily for that? No, only Just when needed. they happen? Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever had any pain that goes down your arms? No. Not Mr. Tingling in your fingertips? No. All right. What about the low back? How often does that happen? Um, I mean, again, I think that's more when I'm working. If I'm standing all day, you know, on concrete floor and in one spot for five, six hours, um, that's when I can start to feel my lower back pain. Do you have any pain before that at all? No. Did you have any accidents or injuries? No. Any sports injuries? You look like an athlete. <laughs> no, I actually have not. Okay. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, no injuries. That's good. No car accidents. That's good. Any other previous conditions? Have you been hospitalized for anything? No. Do you have any other pain? Ankles, knees? Sometimes in my knees, yes. But I've had that pain since I was since I ran track in high school. Mm -hmm. um, long jump. Triple jump. I used to do long jump, but I quit because it hurt my knees. But I was a sprinter. So I ran mm -hmm. the short distance on, you know, on your toes. And mm -hmm. that's when I really started feeling like on the sides of Both my knees. knees equally. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. Any knee pain since then? Sometimes from working out at the gym or again, standing for long hours, especially bent over a bed. So, you know, you're like bent at your knees and like it's going the opposite way that they're supposed to go. <laughs> uh, wrists, elbows, shoulders. No. Jaw. No. Okay, very good. All right, do you have anything? Have you ever been to a chiropractor before? Oh yes, and it, it's been a while, but I used to go frequently. For what? Um, just to, like I said, when I was doing sports in high school, just to kind of keep my body in line, and I've noticed the difference between not when I used to go and now when I don't. Mm -hmm. Have you been since you started working? No, <laughs> no. Okay, that's that's fascinating. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now you were saying you prefer high tops as shoes, and I can see why. You definitely have some pronation happening on the right oh, nice. during heel strike and mid stance. That's good. Okay. Turn around and go the other way. Okay. Okay, heel strike, mid stance, toe off. It's pronating bilaterally. That could affect the knee. Okay. Uh, it's straight up and down from the knee down, so no, no knock knees, no pigeon toes, right. no anything like that. Just a slight little, maybe a loss in your arch, too. Really? Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> they okay. feel really flat. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. High right shoulder with a high right ear. Definitely a high right shoulder, high right ear. But the ears are very close. Your head is on nice and straight. Alright, hip swing looks even from left to right. I don't see any 
external or internal rotations there that's good. Most likely a high right hip with a high right shoulder. Right. Checking for the arches, definitely a decrease in the arch and a pronation on each side. And uh, you can see a slight bowing of the Achilles tendon here, which means it is pronating. That's confirmed, but nice and straight up and down from the knee down. No genuvarum, no genuvalax. Good, the left hip is higher with a high right shoulder. Tracing up to the bottom of the glute fold, it's lower on the left. Mm. Lower left glute fold, there's no internal or external rotation, no hypertonicity in the glute. There is hypertonicity in the right glute right here compared to the left. So that suggests that the right hip is dropped, low left glute, uh, glute fold, and the high left hip. All right, some interesting things happening here. <laughs> Sounds like it. Can turn around face this way again? Okay. What's the scar for right here? I had shoulder surgery. What? <laughs> um, it was some sort of muscle that went from here to here. It like connected here and it was just from volleyball and then I don't know if I should say it on camera. <laughs> yeah, so I, but initially it's from volleyball and then it just really, really, when I did that, just completely ripped it off. And then they did the surgery after that. Mm -hmm. Remember back when I was doing the history and I was like, did anything else ever happen to you? Any I know, I didn't injuries? think, I didn't think, I, mean, I didn't think about that. I kind of mm -hmm. forgot, I guess. <laughs> anything else that you forgot you don't no. let me know about? No. All right, cool. All right, stand up nice and straight again and then go like this, close your eyes. I'm looking for postural swaying here. This tells me if your, your hip is, um, your pelvis is hypermobile. Looks like mostly forward to back. I don't see any lateral swaying. That's good, you can open your eyes. That means your pelvis is stable, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Very symmetrical tone and temperature all the way up and down your spine. It's bilateral. Most of the resistance is right here. This is where the temperature changes. This is where the tone of the muscle changes mm -hmm. in the thoracic lumbar here. I'm going to dig in a little bit deeper to your spine. Mm -hmm. Tender? Mm -hmm. Not as much up here, right? Mm -hmm. The muscles here are in good shape here on the left side of the spine. The left rhomboids are good. Right side rhomboids and spinal muscles, just a little bit of tenderness here at the bottom of the scapula. And then right here. On the right side, it's pretty ten it's tense as well. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's more on the left. Yeah. Ready, upper SI joint. Left or right? Mm, or both. Both. Yeah. Okay, ready, lower SI joint. Definitely right. This right here, right? Yeah. This yeah. joint's swollen right here. Yeah. There's scar tissue in the uh, uh, SI joints at the very bottom. But like minimal scar, not serious scar tissue. Okay. Okay, I'm going to lower this down so I can see the top of your gluteal cleft. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of a sway to the left there, so it tells me that your sacrum's off like this. We'll check that again, standing. Back. Go, let's bring your right, left ear down to your shoulder. Right ear. Which side feels more restricted to you? Probably that side. Going to the left. Yeah. Both feel like kind of restricted. It's tender? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. High left hip. That's what we had in the hallway. Then looking at the glute fold again, it's definitely lower on the left compared to the right. Let your arms relax here. Okay, I'm going to look at the gluteal cleft one more time. Mm -hmm. And then one more time, it still, still curves off to the left. So your sacrum is definitely tilted here. It's putting strain on the lower right SI joint there. 
We'll have to check the coccyx too. All of like, when you're saying like, it's tilted and stuff, because I, I guess maybe I didn't mention earlier too, there has been Hold one, on. one to two times <laughs> that I would be walking or standing and I got a really, like I got a weird sharp pain that went across like my butt. Okay. But it was like twice that I felt it. It was weird. Recently? Yes. Okay. Anything else? No, no. Okay. The spine tells a slightly different story when you're laying down. Like that right there. Mm -hmm. Is that tender all of a sudden? Whew, upper thoracic. This is this is very muscular oriented though, because when you your spine is moving here nicely when mm. I tested the motion of it, but you have tension here. Mm -hmm. This is where your shoulders hurt when you're working. Yes, that's where it really hurts when I rest have them bent over all day. Okay, traps, more on the left, right? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm like very ticklish kind of. <laughs> it's good. All right, I'm gonna measure the trap fibers. This helps me determine where to adjust in your spine. Okay. Tell me which one's more, the most tender. One, two, three, mm. four, Definitely, right? five, six, seven. Definitely three and I think five. Over, over on the left one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so four tells us we need to adjust T6 and L2. L2. How's the pressure, okay? It's good.
breathe. Just like find the breath. Okay, just keep breathing with it. Keep the breath moving. sensitive left right they feel the same they kind of all feel the same it's just like right there right yeah okay we're gonna work on this this is related to one of these areas up here too yeah we're just gonna contact this and hold it gently for a moment find your breath let your back and your shoulders sink in Good. Breathe into this part right here, right where my fingers move, and breathe into your low back. Good. Let the shoulders relax. Good. Did you feel that spasm there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. It's releasing down here. It's trying to pull your sacrum back up. Feels better, right? Mm-hmm. No ticklish. No. <laughs> it's pretty amazing, right? It is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's all coming from this down here. Okay, let me check the uh, occipital fibers, too. A little bit right there, right? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's go back here and find out and see if this one improved. Okay, we're still tender here? No, not really. It's better, right? Yeah. All right, see if we still have this. One, two, three, four. That one. Still tender? Yeah, just a little. A little. That's better already. Mm -hmm. We still need to adjust T6, L2. Okay, left. Down. Right. Down. Left. Down. Again, right. Down. Left, down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's supposed to hurt. <laughs> I understand if it does, it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing. Mm -hmm. 
Breathe through your nose. Hmm. Wow. And nice and gentle, let the shoulders sink in. Following it down, not on this one, we'll follow the next breath out right there. Just letting the back go, letting it sink in one more time. Shoulders sinking. Good, let it all go, let this relax right here. Mm. Oh God, this has been a while. <laughs> Shoulders sinking in. 
Hmm. One, two, three, four. Still tender? Not as bad. A little bit though? A little bit. Like that, I'm gonna bend this top leg like this, bottom leg stays straight. We're gonna bring the uh, hips forward here like this a little bit. We're gonna pull this out like this just a little bit. Cool, your arms can go right there. Right here, good. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. As you breathe out, I'm gonna support your shoulders and push in that direction like that. Good, let the shoulders relax. I'm gonna bring the hip down like this. Okay. Then we're gonna push down in that direction like that. This is all the way at the bottom of the sacrum right there, right? Mm -hmm. This needs to go that way. This one's forward like this. It needs to go back down. Okay, so we connect the PSIS, two inches lateral, three inches down. Good, we're gonna leave the leg out just a little bit. Now let the shoulders relax here. It's sinking in. Bring this down just a little bit more. Right there. How's that? Good. <laughs> this side is going back like this, so we're gonna bring it forward. Breathing in and out. Good. Shoulders relaxing. Lay your back. That one felt good. All right, let's go like this. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Okay, now turn your head to the left. Back to center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. My right ear? Yeah. Like my whole head? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Back to center. Left ear. Back to center. Okay. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. I'm just gonna bring your head over to the side right here. I'm not wrenching anything. I'm just gonna gently push in that direction like that, okay? Okay, you're breathing. Good. Nice and gentle. <laughs> Feels good though. Okay. All right, first we're gonna establish where this needs to go. This was very clear when we palpated it earlier. So I think that we're gonna have to be up here. Okay, nice and gentle. We're gonna bring this guy over to the side like this. Gently, gently as you're breathing, moving in this direction. Good, let your head and shoulders relax here. Mm. <laughs> it feels crazy, but it feels good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to um, crack your toes now, oh, okay? Oh, God. Tell, talk to me. What happened? I don't like it. Why? What person did this to you? Oh, you didn't like my ex-boyfriend. I don't like Okay, we need to work out the tension so you can process this ex-boyfriend stuff, and then you can get let it go and move past okay. it. All right, but listen. This is it, though. It's it's only emotional, okay? Okay. And there's more trauma with that relationship stored in your toes here than you think. Okay. And when we release this trauma, oh. 
the other emotional things that are still stuck will also let go. Okay. Go, just breathe. Look straight up. Okay. And then just find your nose, nose breath. Find the feeling in your nose. <laughs> oh. You're tensing. Yeah. Let it go. Just okay. breathe. Okay. Mm. Just, you know, be really thankful for the people who are in your life who taught you lessons. Yeah. There's really no bad interactions with people. We learn from it, <laughs> grow, <Okay>. evolve. <laughs> Then you become better. Then you teach other people how to do that too. And then we all get better as a people together. Okay. That wasn't as bad. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Oh my god. Damn. Okay. Yeah, remember that all that stress in your ankles. Yeah. That's why your knees hurt. Okay. Let this relax here. Okay. Oh. Oh, I've never had that done before. <laughs> yes, here. Okay, breathing in through your nose. Breathe into your belly. Okay, that's clear. Next is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. We find it like this. Okay, deep belly breath right here. That's good. Next is the diaphragm manipulation. Ticklish? A little bit. Breathe into your belly right here. Good, breathe into your belly. Couple more breaths, almost there. Mm. Table, shoulders and hips, everything's letting go. That was a really nice let go right there. We're gonna follow this breath out. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this pulling stuff freaks me out. <laughs> okay, okay, but it's over. Yeah. Just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It felt good though, but oh, it just always freaks me out. But there was that one more release in there. Did you feel that? In, yeah. In your neck? Did you feel it in the bottom too? Yes. Okay, Mostly good. in my neck. Yeah. Yeah. It's good work. <laughs> It is. It makes a difference. <laughs>so check it out where you had surgery mm -hmm. okay they took this tendon right here oh, I can feel where the scar tissue is.
because they took this tendon and they reattached it right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so where I'm adjusting has mm -hmm. nothing to do with this tendon or that surgery, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, let's just feel it. Let's just see. But it, but it, the shoulder's good. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, like, weird, it'll crack. Just relax. Let me do the work. Okay. Mm. Pain? Um, I mean, not, no, it just, like, pulled and feels, just feels awkward. Left or right or same? Not the same. And you can get let it go and move past okay. it. <laughs> Is that okay? It's so okay. It's so it traumatized me. Okay, nice and gentle. Shoulders sinking in. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, that one felt good.